On this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. The people that I dated throughout that time, I think they looked at me for more quality because I wasn't that cute. I mean, I look good, but I wasn't that cute. And then after I had my daughter, I got a little fat like a year later, but I was still attracting people. So I think as you get older, it changes more so than if I'm looking at you fuckable, you like see certain qualities. But I know if you look at somebody, even women, when we look at men, sometimes think about it. We know if we're going to give them the draws or not when we see them. Like as much as we say, like, we don't know we not that type of person. When you look I mean, at there's them, levels. you don't know. There's you don't know. There's, there's <laughs> you don't know. absolutely. And then there's a hell no. But there's somebody right. in between that's like, hmm. Yeah, you you always got your little ugly. You gotta get to, right. He's not that cute, but maybe, you know, let me see what he's talking about. Okay. Right. <laughs> and I, I think for the most part, like me growing up, especially where I grew up and the way I used to eat and all that other stuff, like mm -hmm. I knew like wow. physically I was attractive. <laughs> if if you are not, if men don't like looking at you. Like Anton said, they got to like you for some other reason. You have to bring some other kind of value to them because they don't want to be looking at you. So you you got to be doing something like helping them get some money or, you know, doing something in their house or like you got to be doing something else because you just being here and them just looking at you ain't enough if you aren't physically beautiful. So that's just how it works. Like that has always been how it's worked. Um I do think that, you know, physical, physically beautiful women take advantage of this. Um, I think that a man will have more patience with you in the whole dating process if you're more physically beautiful um, in terms of like how long they'll do the dance. We all know the dance, right? How long we'll do the dance. The dance will go on way longer if you're fine. This is just facts, right? They'll do the dance longer <laughs> than if you're not. And, um, you know, they haven't gotten what they wanted in however long, however amount of time. So, um, yeah, I, I just think that the statement is very true. I mean, I know this and, uh, you know, it's not a secret. I always am trying to figure out what else do you want? Because I know that that's what you want, especially with a baddie. I mean, I know. So I'm just I'm trying to figure out why. Why else are you really here? Is that all you're here for? Are you are do you gonna actually get to know me so that you can see if you like me and not just what I look like or what could could look like next to you? Because there is this thing in the community with like who who is the person on your arm, right? And what do they look like and how does that represent you or whatever? Um y'all went on for so long. There was something else I wanted to say about something that Rio said. Um fuck, but it slipped my mind. So go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna come back to you. Uh See, see if you can remember that. Go ahead, Ms. Courtney Michelle. <laughs> oh, I agree with Kayla. So most of the time when ladies are physically beautiful, you're like, because you're F. Um, yes. Men are, that's what men are. Majority of men, when they look at you on first look, it's, there. I will smash. No, mm -hmm. I don't know about smashing that. Oh, maybe if I had some Hennessy. <laughs> so, <laughs> first, it's facts. It's facts. So, and again, women know that beauty gets you in the door. It is not. No one knows if you're smart, if you're spiritual, if you're got a good job, or if your feet stink. It's what do you look like? And it's because I want to physically be with you. And that's what how majority men think. That I know. So, I mean, I'm 100% with um, Kayla. But to Rilla's point, this is what I wanted to say when he was saying that men do look at women. Men do say, darn, we would have pretty babies. With women say that to men. Men do that, too. There was about six months ago, there was a big case um, with this Asian man that married a woman, had plastic surgery, and sued her because the kids came out looking a whole completely different way. And this, this is like a real life thing that happened. And he sued her. Ma'am, I married you. I thought that you was beautiful. And our kids are not looking like I thought that they would be. So men do say that. I've gotten told that. Hell, I got a couple of DMs that's saying it now. So... <laughs> 
You want another baby Courtney? Sir, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've heard it, Courtney. Oh, we Where's can it? really athletic children. I've heard it. Like, because, you know, I'm very tall. And yeah. then also scientifically, it's like proven that men, that, that that's how attraction works in terms of like men are attracted to youth for that reason, are attracted to wide hips because of childbearing. Like it all goes, it hips. All goes into all the, the science. So even if that's not what you're thinking on your mind, scientifically, that's how male attraction works per the the, the data, the peer review, if we go all into that. But it's out there. I'm, I promise you, you can find it. What does childbearing hips even mean? I'm just curious. Like when you have wider you hips, your hips, hips are- That big hips. It's, if you think about it in the olden days before there were house hospitals and they were cesareans were available if you if your hips couldn't weren't wide enough to provide for the baby to be able to like you have a natural birth that could be you could lose the baby and the mother so ha just having wide hips is a, is a sit is a sign in the male science, uh, something that says oh, she that ain't never heard that their children. Yeah, you never heard. Yes. Oh, we got yes. yes. about this. Come on, I have come to on, find it, but I watched. Come on, I'm watched. from the south. I'm right. From the <laughs> south. Yeah. All right. Let's let's be very clear. Time, yes, you got the child yes, yes, hip. I, yes, I've heard about childbearing hips, but nobody has been able to explain that scientifically. There is there, there is something out there. Yes, there this. is. Okay, I'll oh, find oh, it for you oh, since it's that serious. Actually, you know what? No, I'm no, but I'll find it for you. Right. Right. Can you hold on? Because the whole I'm time I was talking, right. it was like, That's what I'm saying. It was like, ladies, stop. Ladies, stop. I know, I'm saying I want to back out. I'm backing out. Ladies, stop. I don't go okay, Quest, stop. That's what I'm telling you. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. I'm out. What? Stop. Let, uh, let me and Courtney. Mel ain't even got in here yet. You trying to cook. Damn. A quest. Stop. <laughs> so, I ladies, this. I know I know y'all gonna hate me for this, but I think it changes as you get older. And I agree with Anton on the fact that, like, when you're younger, you should always be looking for quality. Like, I was, I was a late bloomer myself. When I say I was a late bloomer, um, I feel like I ain't get cute till I got older, like in college. And I didn't like have sex until like I was like 20 something. I was 22. So I don't think it's that. I really think that like even the people that I dated throughout that time, I think they looked at me for more quality because I wasn't that cute. I mean, I look good, but I wasn't that cute. And then after I had my daughter, I got a little fat like a year later. But I was still attracting people. So I think as you get older, it changes more so than if I'm looking at you fuckable, you like see certain qualities. But I know if you look at somebody, even women, when we look at men sometimes, think about it. We know if we're going to give them the draws or not when we see them. Like as much as we say, like, we don't know we not that type of person. When you look I mean, at there's people, a level. you don't know. There's, you level, don't know. There's, there's an absolutely, and then there's a hell no. But there's somebody right. in between that's like, hmm. Yeah, you you always got your little ugly. You get to, right, he's not that cute, but maybe you know. Let me see what he's talking about. Okay, right. <laughs> and I, I think for the most part, like me growing up, especially where I grew up and the way I used to eat and all that other stuff, like mm -hmm. I knew like physically I was attractive. 